Oh, we are recording already. Um, press the button, so might as well start. Uh, we are going to do Scorpio reading uh, for today of September. Um, thank you guys, YouTube, for tuning in. If you guys want to watch full live shows, tune in to Twitch, The Hanged Hippie. Um, really exciting. Be some of the first people to spread tarot and spirituality on Twitch. Uh, or if you know any other channels, please let me know. I tried to search. I couldn't find any of them. Um, couldn't really even use the tag. So let's uh, go on over to Twitch and show Twitch some love and light. Because uh, now we got YouTube. We got Insta. If you want to tune into the live, everything really you can see on the gram. Um, but it doesn't save anything. So that is... That's the thing. So, if you want to watch older episodes, tune in Twitch. If you want the energy readings, we got YouTube. And if you just always want to hang out, follow me on Instagram. And I got Twitter. Uh, if I get another phone, I'll definitely be tweeting more. But there's only so many apps, so little time. So, Scorpios, what does September have to hold for you? These cards just shot out. Um, I think let's just stick with those because these cards, it's a lot of cards. Let's see. Ah, uh, that's not that many. We have the Empress in reverse. We have Judgment in reverse. We have Three of Pentacles upright. We have Four of Cups upright. We have Seven of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups upright. And we have the Lovers in reverse. Um, so let's see. Let's get a good look of what's going on here. We got... Uh, a lot of cups, um, cause Scorpios always say they don't feel emotions, but we all know that's a lie. And the lie detector determines that was a lie. Um, we have the Empress, so we have two threes, uh, and a six, um, so that's interesting. Um, we have big projects coming up, um. That's what I'm getting. But it's time to fall back and get in touch with our creative side. What we tend to think is that once we start a project, we literally can't stop and live our lives or do anything else until that project is finished. And we know, like, we get burnt out and then that never happens and we sometimes don't even finish the project. That's why the Empress card is here. It's like, hey, let's take some time to... Uh, fall back, get in touch with nature, go for a walk, take a break, smoke break, whatever you need, right? Take a little vacation and then come back to work because when you take a vacation and maybe take a trip, right? Physical, spiritual, whatever, that's where that judgment card is going to come in. It's like, oh, you took a break and you started watching movies and, um, Okay, so for example, let's say you're making a movie, you're writing a script, but you've been working on the script and you said, I'm not going to do anything at all until I um, work on this script and finish the script. So it's like, uh, okay, um, did you watch any movies? Do you do this? Do you no, no movies, no TV. So you're really not getting any other new influences. Um, because maybe you might watch something, get a new idea for your script. Maybe you might um, listen to some music, get some new ideas for a track. It doesn't have to be the same thing, but it's like, oh, I like how they did this. I'm going to do this, right? So that's why the importance of falling back, taking a break, relaxing, experiencing life can help you with your project. And then also falling back and dealing with the home situation. Let's make sure that the Four of Cups is solid. Um, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, so uh, maybe it is time to start making decisions. If we have to fall back and realize that none of the options are the best options for us, then it is what it is. The best option isn't on the table, so we're not going to take anything on the table. If it is, let's make sure we use our intuition to recognize what we truly want, and when you see that, go out and get it. Um, and the Eight of Cups of having the strength to, uh, you know, uh, deal with your emotions 
And when you have the strength to deal with your emotions and have the strength to realize what is right for you and what isn't right for you, and that's where the lovers will come. So maybe we're not there quite yet of, oh, yeah, I haven't found the right people for me. But when you understand what the right people are or who the right person is, and then you don't compromise on the in-between, then you will be rewarded with the right person. But until then, uh, you're going to keep getting McDonald's, right? That expression of like, yo, you hungry? Oh, you want McDonald's? Yeah, I want McDonald's. Okay, you're going to keep getting McDonald's because you keep taking it. But if you say, no, it's not for me, right? Um, then things will work out in your favor so that is our september reading for scorpio uh thank you guys for watching remember tune in to insta tune in to twitch if you want to watch the hanging with the hippie show um i have guests come on talk about spirituality this last guest we had a yoga lesson so um if you guys want like a 10 minute uh yoga lesson for the freezies all right um go on and watch me embarrass myself <laughs> thank you